Hey girls, it's Friday and I'm about to go to work. I apologize for the lateness. I had another video recorded that I did on Wednesday, but it was really bad. And okay, so to, uh, this week's theme was poetry. I picked the theme, so I think you're all expecting me to have like the most eloquent video, but I don't. I just wanted to hear the others talk about poetry. And while I like poetry a lot, I normally only like poetry when it resonates with me and when I can understand it and like other, hearing other people talk about poetry and like hearing people's opinions on the poems that I like best um but I'm not like all poetry or girl home I can't write it to save my life that sort of thing but I figured I would read you one of my favorite poems and at least name the other ones my favorite poem of all time, it's probably the love song of Jafford Prufrock, and you've all probably read that for school, um, and have formed your own opinion on it, but I love it, I love the language, I love the meaning behind it, um, and it, re and it really just hits me every time I read it, so I don't try to read it that off often. Um, another favorite poem is Instead of Killing Yourself, which I'll link to all of these in the description, and uh, my favorite poem as of right, like, right now is called, I'm sorry, wait, uh, Unsolicited Advice to Adolescent and Girls with Crooked Teeth and Pink Hair, which I'm going to read and probably butcher like hell, uh, so I apologize, uh, in advance, but here we go. When your mother hits you. Do not strike back. When the boys call asking your cup size, say A, hang up. When he says you gave him blue balls, say you're welcome. When a girl with thick black curls who smells like bubble gum stops you in a stairwell to ask if you're a boy, explain that you keep your hair short so she won't have anything to grab when you headbutt her. Then headbutt her. When a guidance counselor teases you for handed on jeans, do not turn red. When you have sex for the second time and there is no condom, do not convince yourself that scrolling between layers of underwear will soak up the semen. When your geometry teacher posts a banner reading, Learn math or go home and learn how to be a mama, do not take your first feminist stand by leaving the classroom. When the boy you have a crush on is sent to detention, go home. When your mother hits you, do not strike back. When the boy with the blue mo mohawk swallows your heart and opens his wrist, wrist Hide the knives, bleach the bathtub, pour out the vodka. Every time. When the skinhead girls jump you in the bathroom stall, swing, curse, kick, do not turn red. When a boy you think you love delivers the first black eye, he's a screwdriver, a beer bottle, your two good hands. When your father locks the door, break the window. When a college professor writes you poetry and whispers about your tight little ass, do not take it as a compliment, do not wait, call the dean, call his wife. When a boy with good manners and a thirst for Budweiser proposes, say no. When your mother hits you, do not strike back. When the boys tell you how good you smell, do not, do not doubt them, do not turn red. When your brother tells you he is gay, pretend you already know. When the girl on the subway curses you because your t-shirt reads, I fucked your boyfriend, assure her that it is not true. When the dog pees the rug, kiss her. Apologize for being late. When you refuse to stay the night because you lived in Jersey City, do not move. When you refuse to stay the night because you live in Harlem, do not move. When you refuse to stay the night because your air conditioner is broken, leave him. When you refuse to keep a toothbrush at your apartment, leave him. When you find the toothbrush that you keep at his apartment, hidden in the closet, leave him. Do not regret this. Do not turn red. When your mother hits you, do not strike back. I don't really have the right voice for spoken word or even doing video blogs. My words tend to, you know, run together. And I don't really pronounce everything correctly. So I apologize, but... I'm really hoping Mariah does do her video at some point for this because I'd like to hear about what she thinks, no matter if she doesn't really like poetry or she does a lot. But today is awesome because I ordered 
uh, an $80 like package of all of the 2008 and all of the 2009 Wizard Rock of the Month EP um, like two weeks ago and it's coming tomorrow or Monday but it says it's supposed to come tomorrow because it was priority mail it was shipped yesterday so I'm really excited about that but I have to go to work at two and I have to do chores before I leave this I'm not really good with this timing thing so I will see Sam on Monday. On Monday, the theme is imitating each other. Sam will be imitating Mariah, I think. 